Whoa, how did that happen? Uh, never mind. Hello there, everybody. This is Siwap, the Platinum One here. And welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Ugh. Anyways, last time, we found out that Groose stole our bird and... and hit him somewhere. That waterfall cave over there might be a helpful hint. Actually, it is where it is. Okay, so today we're going to take our bird back. And then kick Groose's ass. Nah. Unfortunately, we don't find him in this game as much as we want to. We can't. Which is really sad. And that sign is still broken. Of course. And of course, my battery is still running out. Of course. And here we are in the cave of the waterfall. And hello, Keys, how are you? You're the first enemies in the game. That's rather peculiar. And we get a green rupee. Yay. At least it's not in Twilight... At least it's not like Twilight Princess where where you get like a green rupee every time you you boot up the game or something. Anyways, before you forget, there's a treasure chest over here. And a pretty neat shortcut too, I have to add. And it contains a red rupee. Yay. Contains a red rupee. And over there we got choo choos. Choo choos. Yep, the jelly blob things that that existed ever since Zelda 1. Very nice. And we got more bad guys. Gah! Yeah. More bad guys. So now let's proceed to dash. Because we're gonna need to dash in order to get up this hill. Jeez. Jeez. This way the link sounds, man. Those link sound effects just get kinda sorta more ridiculous. Oh yeah, something I didn't mention in the last episode is that uh, whenever you spin attack, your stamina goes like way down, so probably not a wise idea for you to spin attack too much. You can also shake the weird mode and nunchuck down at the same time to do an upward spin attack, like so. So, yeah, you just have to point the weird mode up and then, and then do that, so, yeah. Anyway, let's go up here, because I do believe there's something. Yep, treasure chest. And it is... Red Rupee, of course. It's Majora's Mask all over again! Yay! You know, like how in Majora's Mask, when, like, when, like, all you find are freaking red rupees... Oh, hello, a uh, jelly blob. May look like a boiling water gunk, but it could be used for all sorts of things. And that is our collection right there. I didn't show this, but if you press 1, you can basically look at your quest items and such. Your... All your treasures. The enemy... These are the... Okay, these are the various bugs you can get throughout the game. And these are the various... Uh... Treasure thingamabobs that you get throughout the game. And these are important side quest items here. And over here is basically all your stuff. All your basic whatever. You know, it's basic stuff, Zelda stuff. Yeah. So let's continue. And ah, yeah, that's another thing too. If you dash, if you accidentally dash, the game will think it's like, the game will think that you're climbing up a wall or something. So don't dash too often, because not only that, not only will it consume stamina, it'll also do that. Anyway, here's an easy 40 rupees right here. It's very. Very helpful, actually. Very helpful. And now, let's head outside and ignore the keys, which is right there. Because it is a jerk. And I kill jerks. Anyway, there's a bird statue right here. If you can, if you want to save. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, looks like your bird conveniently repaired its wing. Hey, Charlie, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around to help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? Oh no. Well, you well Zelda can apparently read minds. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Grusling's gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Of course. Who's that? Who's calling for me? 
Oh, sorry, Charlie. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. All right. So let's go, and Zelda's falling behind us. Yay! I knew the girls would go after me. Those are my fangirls right there. Look, there he is! Yep, just like we saw. No doubt about it. That's your love ring, Charlie! I'm right here! No need to yell at my ear! So, what do you got? That's so cruel. They boarded him up on there. Charlie, can't you do something about those planks out of the way? Yeah, to do something to get the planks out of the way. Well, I know one thing. Slash him off! Knock his block off! No. Yes. Alright. So this can take a while to figure out first time playing through it, but... That's just the beauty of this game right here. They think of so many ways to confuse you. And have you get there stuck for about a month and then... And then you go back to the game realizing that you walk got through a walkthrough! Ugh. But more of that later as we get get time to it. But right now we got our bird back. I'm gonna call him Red. What's up, Red? How you doing? That's my Red. Of course. I name my I name my Zangoose Red. There's a Pokemon trainer called Red. And I'm pretty sure there's a Red in some anime. And that's my red. Right there. Because he's red. I like the color red. But not as much as I like gold. We should hurry, Charlie. Now that your offering is free, we should fly to the ceremony. But before you go, I have something to ask... I had to ask you something. I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling. Almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing at all down below, but I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts say, talk about a place called the surface. Yeah, they have text messaging in Zelda, what of it? The old tale is described of a whole world un under there, far more vast than Skyloft. Thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our and our offerings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagining the wild things that must be waiting below. Someday I want to see it for myself. And to become a great Jedi. It's like the Weird Al song. <laughs> oh, sorry, Charlie. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Your bird's waiting for you. Just lean over the edge and press down. But don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you in for sure this time. God, his lips! Just can't get over that. Why did they decide to give him such big lips? I don't know. But don't worry about a thing. You can basically fly forever and... Somehow you won't gain any distance. Anything. And... Whee! Pointing the remote down is fun, but unfortunately, our fun must stop because we gotta call a bird with down. And folks, welcome to about 30% of the game, which is flying. Yay! I do want to admit it. It is. It is definitely more fun than sailing in Wind Waker, but trust me on which it will probably not. Um, something. Okay, so, pointing your rear mode at the screen, you can tilt the rear mode left and right to move, and when you want to speed up, swing the rear mode up to gain some altitude, then point the rear mode down to go into a fast dive, like this, like Zelda explaining to us. So again, tilt the rear mode up, then point, the down, then point it down to speed up. Those are the bases of getting your bird at top. What the? Oh, that was weird. So how's he handling? Whoa. Seriously, that... Did you see that? Did my bird just fall through the clouds or something? I don't know. While riding a rough, you can press 2 at any time to go over to basic controls again. Yeah, you can basically press 2 to see what you can do. Depending on your action, of course. You can also press A to charge, which is an attack that will give you a boost of speed. Like this. And you can press B to slow down, like this. 
But pretty much just like Epona, your horse from various Zelda games, you have a limited amount of boosts. So, yeah. Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Charlie, but your loft wing looks like he's flying great. My father and the others are probably worried about your bird, so let's go give him the good news. Yes. Let us go get the news indeed. Wait, get the news? I didn't think they had news in this game, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. And, uh... Let's see, do I really want to save now? Yeah. Yeah, I probably do. Just in case the video gets all screwed up or whatever. The first half will be fine. I'm pretty sure of it. Your loft wing is really amazing, considering everything the poor guy has been through this morning. I'm going to fly back and tell Father what happened. Yeah, that's not going off in the flying direction. Oh, hello. Whoa, whoa, if it isn't Charlie. Word around the plaza is that you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great, because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-waste warm-ups and the guy, me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting around forever for the race to start, and they delay it for you? I don't get it. The Big Flake gets special treatment? You're almost a man, and you still can't seem to go anything anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what, what to have for lunch on your own, huh? Oh, you did not. You did not. Bitch. Uh, nah. Nah. And don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Ooh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Your mother- No. <laughs> well, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Kristen's going on forever about how he's going to be the one with Zelda. He's really got a pompadour in the, <laughs> in the ruffle. Pompadour? I know that's a real hairstyle, but come on, man. Come on. I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up some this adorable fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim that sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way was I gonna let some scrawny clown snatch a prize away from me. Oh yes, that sailcloth, Zelda's sailcloth, will be mine! <laughs> man, this dude. Oh man, I bet you were thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First I win the big race, and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony to get on a statue. Just the two of us. Stop going into sleep mode! Did you really turn that off? It'll be my special moment alone. No one's stopping me from Z and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real, I can I can see it. <laughs> God, this guy. This guy. That guy. Whatever guy. Groose, behind you! Right behind you! What could you see into an there? Oh no! Not again! Care to explain what you meant by our special moment alone? I uh nothing, nothing really. Just just Charlie. Yeah, I was telling my buddy here. I'll glad I was he found that red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. God, this is good. guy. Okay. Anyway, anyhow, later, Zelda. Look for me during the race. I'll be pulling off dangerous moves and blah. I strut off all proud and shit. Hey, Groose, wait up! I always gotta have a fat guy and a skinny guy. Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chances are having any of that in less than zero. Either way, don't let the fools get you down, Charlie. Just do, just get your best out there and fly the best you can. I know you got this guy's speed, and deep down I think you do too. Us alone? Nah. No. No. Just no. Even though I pretty much would like to say that, no, I do not. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Charlie. Yeah, I'm planning on doing the race too, but I have no idea where to stop. Pretty sure it'll let me save, though. I don't really remember if they do let me save, but... Hmm. Goodness gracious me, I forgot to put on 16x9. Oh well. The pre capture preview on 16x9. Yeah, oh well. No harm, no foul. 
I was beginning to worry that we'd proceed without Charlie, but luckily there is, that is no longer a concern. Soon the rebellion will be crushed and young Skywalker will become one of us. I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, and I'll release it to the skies. On my signal, press A to dash and dive off the ledge, and once you are in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly and pressing down when you dive off the edge. Whoever catches a bird and claims a statuette with A will be this year's champion! Those are the rules. Simple enough, I should think. Do you need to hear it again? I can't believe they won't let you press B! He's like, no. EXCELLENT! As you know, today's champion will also be graduated to the next class, bringing one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, as it's the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. <laughs> yeah, I had to emphasize that. So by due occasion, today's champion will also receive the gift from, from the high atop the statue of the goddess. Ah, oh, good lord. Okay, so much reading. But as you all know, the role of the good the there will be played by the lovely Zelda. Let's see how fine is flying out there. Just show me how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught kind of fearing by other riders will answer to me. That goes double for you, Groose! Hey. Oh, man. That is mad. That is mad. Alright, gentlemen, line up. At my command, the competition will begin! Alright, let's do it! Let's do it! Go! Alright, let's do this! Whee! <laughs> Committing suicide- No. 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 Anyway, this took me freaking forever the first time I played this, I swear. Because I freaking couldn't learn how to... I freaking skipped the part about... About, like, having to swing the remote up in order to gain some altitude. Okay, get it? I got it! Got it! Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Yes. No. Hey, that's cheating! Doesn't the instructor know about this? Put this egg in your face. Alright, so this next part is kinda sorta harder, considering that you have these eggs attacking you, that Colin flings at you for whatever reason, but we still it still has that- Whoa! Ah! 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 Okay. Dude. Dude. Okay. Alright. We almost got it. Almost got it. Boost. Two. Win. Nope. Come on. Come on. Ah. Driving. Must work on my driving skills. Because it is. Oh. Oh. I saw the prompt. You saw that prompt. Game, don't tell me that I. Yeah. Doesn't really matter anyway. You'll always win. You always win anyway because the game is. The game makes it freaking impossible for Bruce to win. Ah. But it's sure kicking my ass, that's what. That's what? Yeah. Okay. 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 There. Good. Dang it. Okay. There we go. There we go. I got it. I got it. Wait till Zelda sees this. Wait until she sees this indeed. Ha ha ha. Okay. No. Just not. Oh man, don't kill yourself now! Don't kill yourself, man! Well, think about what you're doing! Nah. You idiot, why didn't you go? No. <laughs> don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> Great flying, Charlie. Congratulations! Oh. Yeah. Now we better get on with the ceremony. The game's not, like, gonna let me save, is it? Nah. It's not, like,. Gun let me save. So, I'm probably just gonna stop it here. Yeah, sorry to leave you on the cliffhanger with this scene, because this cutscene is pretty long. So, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we're going to finish up the ceremony. So, see you guys on next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.